PM. Plenty Mush is the leader of the... You understand. The Unstoppables. In fact, he's the leader of the Unstoppables. No longer is he the Silver Shroud, of course, having given that responsibility and gift and uh, mantle to Nick Valentine, the new Silver Shroud, the literally Silver Shroud, a perfect candidate for it. Uh, but we are, oh, yesterday, I should say, of course, uh, we, we, we spent a, a very, very long time, almost two hours, adventuring through the glowing sea. There were no story elements, no conversations there, nothing, just exploring all the places, ticking everything off the map, uh, in, in, ready to go and, uh, do the quest over in the glowing sea. The map markers move, look at that, that's bizarre. Weird. I guess you've got to go to the Glowing Sea, then go to your map marker, and then obviously move on from there. Um, but what we did find in the Glowing Sea was four different sets of power armor. Now, um, I put them in storage, and I did start upgrading it. And then I said, uh, bear enough, this was all in an episode, by the way, that's now in the bin, and you'll find out why in a second. Um, I, I started upgrading the power armor, and then we ran out of adhesive. And then I was like, you know what? We're going to make the legendary... Um, two-shot junk jet that we can load a shipment of adhesive into it. We can fire at the wall. 25 adhesive. It's infinite caps. It's infinite resources. I went around uh, all through um, shit, what's it called? Diamond City. I bought a Wastelander outfit, a legendary Wastelander outfit. I bought a legendary Swatter. I think it was called the Rockville Slugger. I bought Old Faithful, which was a gun from the other guy. Broke it all down for effect chips. And then uh, I did, in fact, upgrade the junk jet. Why is it not in my inventory right now? Well, I put the adhesive in the junk jet. I fired it at the wall. It didn't fucking work. Uh, it just fired one adhesive and then nothing. It fires a phantom shot. So I was like, oh god, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Went on Google, looked it up, and it said that that does not work. Uh, so, whoever left that comment the first time around, I'm going to find you. The Unstoppables will be at your front door waiting for you, my friend, because you have betrayed me. Uh, and I loaded back the save, uh, to this point in time where I've broken down all those weapons. I, I sold a bunch of those NPCs, a bunch of food, a bunch of old world money, that type of thing. And, uh, I, I think I wasn't supposed to sell the old world money, so maybe we'll go buy that back. Um, but I sold a bunch of stuff, bought that weapons. We're at that stage where we've got the effect chips. But I haven't upgraded the junk jet. Because uh, I very cleverly saved before I did it in case it didn't work. Which it didn't, by the way. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to kind of hit the ground running a little bit today. We're going to upgrade this power armor. We found this right at the end in the Sentinel site. The Liberty Power Armor. Of course, based on Liberty Prime. I, well, I've talked about this last episode. But for those of you who skipped it, I basically said that, you know, uh, the X Power Armor is really cool. We, we've got the X3 over here. Which we're going to let the Silver Shroud or whoever our companion is uh, ride in. We're going to upgrade that one if we've got enough resources left over. Given that we now can't get infinite adhesive. Um, we've got the Raider Armor, of course, everything else. But the problem with all of this stuff is it's it's factionized, right? You see Brotherhood Power Armor, you're going to think the Brotherhood. You see the Enclave with that X2 or X3 or whatever. You're going to see, you're going to think the Enclave. That looks like Raider shit. That just looks terrible. Whereas this is unique, it's fashionable, and it's scientific. Just like our main character, Planty Mush. So, again, I started upgrading it and uh, got distracted by the lack of adhesive. So, I've gone around and bought adhesive and uh, harvested all the plants and gone through the mutt fruit and what, uh, sorry, the mute fruit and whatever else. Um, my, my logic behind this was we've got maximum armor upgrade, prism shielding, because when you consider all those encounters we fought yesterday and a lot of the enemies we fought, it's the modded laser guns that fuck us up out of everything. Regular ballistic weapons, not too terrible. Of course, we do still have to be careful. What are we lacking? Just blacksmith level 2. That's interesting. Okay. Um, sighted, sighted aiming marks enemies with a compass pip. Oh, cool. So, there, this was also a big debate in the comment section. Lots of misinformation floating around the last few episodes, okay? Again, I don't blame anyone. It's kind of the gorse rifle situation all over again. The railgun situation all over again. Um, somebody in the comments was like, make sure you get blacksmith to upgrade the arm armor. Um, somebody said, don't get it because it only gives melee damage. Someone else replied saying that's not true. It does blah, blah, blah. I don't know what's happening, um, and I feel like I'm going mad, but this, though, this this clearly works for it, right? Increased VATS hit chance. Sighted aiming marks enemies with a compass pip. That's awesome. So I think what we'll do, let's just have a look here. So that increases unarmed damage. That is obviously blade damage, energy damage to unarmed attacks, action point for power attacks. So we'll put recon sensors on one arm, and we've got this. This is insane, right? Antimatter forged ally we can put on this power armor. Octuples maximum armor health. That means times by eight. Uh, it costs four mini nukes per alloy, uh, along with a bunch of nuclear materials, steel, circuitry, and 
adhesive, everyone's favorite fallout material. So this thing is going to be um, probably quite ridiculous when we get there. Let's throw the, what did I put on the other one? The matrix overlay? I can't remember now. Bollocks. Um, what have I put on? Kinetic antimatter forged leg. Okay. Recon antimatter forged arm. So I've got to put on the uh, recon, recon. So we've got to put on the matrix overlay on this one. There you go. I think that's a sensible idea. Jesus Christ, this is going to be insane. Did I not upgrade the base level of that either? That's probably when I ran out of uh, of adhesive. <laughs> this armor is going to be nonsense when we've done it. Oh my God. I did try the hot pink. It doesn't work, sadly. Like you see there, it doesn't actually apply a paint effect to it. It might apply it to the other armor set, so definitely I'll try it on there. Maybe give it to strong. Oh. I guess I probably won't give it to Strong. The, 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 uh, of course, Grognak in the Unstoppables, the unnamed Strong Men, end up being a little bit too Frank Horrigan for my liking. Um, yeah, let's just go all in on the Prism Shielding. I think that's, I think that's absolutely fine. What have we got here then? Overdrive sensors. I, I put on kinetic servos onto the other one. Chris, action point res refresh speed while moving. That seems really good. So I think I'm probably. Oh, reduce action point cost for, for sprinting. Yeah, because I've got kinetic on the other one. Yeah, I've got Kinetic on the other one, so let's stick um, Optimized on that one. And then, of course, you've got the Antimatter Alloy on there. And that's sadly all we can do again, because we're totally out of um, fucking adhesive all the time. <laughs> what have we got, then? Um, we've got Model E. We've got Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3. What's the difference? If I put that on it... Oh! Wait, what is Model E, then? It's got no benefit. Like the requirements to create this item. So we've got Mark 4 right now. Okay, we'll just upgrade it to... Sorry, Mark 5. We'll upgrade it to Mark 6. There you go. Jesus, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Let's throw more prism shielding. I was kind of tempted about the explosive stuff, but the problem with the explosive stuff, right, is every explosive we've been in has been enough to instantly kill us, so I don't think it was really necessary. Uh, and then the helmet. Oh, the helmet I've already upgraded. There you go. Can't afford that. Antimatter forged ally, sadly. But everything else is done. Right. That looks like a set of power armor to me. Look at that. I'm happy with that. And I would say I'd upgrade the other set for uh, the Silver Shroud, but obviously we've got any fucking adhesive all the time, and my dreams of unlimited adhesive have been ruined. Right, let's get you back in the power armor, my friend, and we will get in the power armor ourselves, because of course we've got to go right back to the glowing sea. It's not out of reach, Nick. It's right there. Enter the power armor. There you go. It's out of reach, you lazy piece of shit. <laughs> this is me when the sofa, when the when the remote's on the other side of the sofa. <laughs> right, before we head out, then we picked up a bunch of weapons from yesterday's excursion, and I think we should check some out. I'm gonna drop off Kellogg's pistol. It, it, it's DPS because we haven't gone into gunslinger. Its DPS is so terrible. 62 uh, compared to the 2,200 of the dignity rifle. It's fun in theory, but let's be honest, it's not going to work. I want to try out some of these other rifles. I think the Gorse rifle could do some really good stuff for us. But again, none are upgraded and I can't upgrade them. We've got this disintegrator weapon. I just want to see if we can upgrade any of it. I don't think we're going to be able to. No, we are just shit out. Totally out. Fuck's sake. All right, we'll worry about that later. So I won't waste too much time today because it was a lot of wasted time yesterday. Um, listen, what's got good DPS out the, out the gate here? Keep everything. We'll take the Gorse Rifle. We'll take the Dignity Rifle. That gives us long range and short, medium range. Let's get in our fucking power armor and let's get the hell out of here. Liberty armor for your favorite sciencey boy. People were saying that um, the fusion cores are intentionally popped out of armor. Oh. Do I like that? Um, It might get kind of annoying, but why the fuck would it not highlight enemies in red and then like friendlies in green this is insane you know how many shots i'm gonna put in the back of the silver shroud not in that way maybe in that way um here let's do that let's get back to work <laughs> ridiculous what a ridiculous time find virgil in the glowing sea because we found quite literally everything else in the glowing sea at this point sorry i was just trying to comfortize my setup here i um Hello? I think they're on that bridge. I think we're going to be able to get to those. I uh, broke my nice fancy monitor. I talked about this, obviously, uh, ad nauseum on Discord and everything else. Um, moving it back into the house because my garden started flooding. And to get to my office, uh, which is a separate solid brick building, uh, it's a garage that was converted. 
I would have to go through the stinky flood water. And I'll be honest, I was getting annoyed having to do that every single day. Can we fast travel at this point? We're good. I was getting annoyed having to do that every single day. Whoops. Uh, when I was bringing the monitor, it's an incredibly fragile ultra-wide monitor. Really heavy. And I put it on my desk. Just like, clearly just like a bit too hard and it, it, it broke. Um, which is very frustrating because it was hyper expensive. So these days I'm using three super cheap monitors I found online. <laughs> and uh, I haven't got qu quite Stop got it the way I want it stranger. to. Hello. Holy it's soul there. State your purpose or be divided in his sight. Ah, uh, 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 I'm here because I need your help. Do you seek division? Have you come to merge with Adam, to be split in his infinite glory, or do you seek to tear uh. down his followers? Could you speak up? I can't hear you over all the ambient noise. I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Virgil? Yes, we know this Virgil. What do you want with him? Um, I need his help. Reaching the Institute? I, I need some information from him. He has sought refuge with Adam. I would know more before I tell you where he is. Can what do you want with him? How are these people not all fucking dead? How long's she been here? Surely she could have only been here like a, a, a week at most. Uh, I need his help reaching the Institute. I have heard of this Institute. They hide themselves, trying to avoid the power of Adam. The power the of Adam. In truth, this Virgil has caused some concern. Some believe his presence is an affront to Adam. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact ah. with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. Could, could, you can could find you speak him up? southwest of the crater, living in a cave. What's that? I would approach He's living in a cake? I, I feel he does not want visitors. He wants visitors? Okay, well that's good news. Uh, good news, Silver Shroud. Madam, I feel like you have uh, had me this severe radiation time. sickness. You appear to be glowing. Okay. Astoundingly awesome tales. A spooky ghoul. Wow. Yeah, we're not exactly doing super well on the uh, Rad's resistant front. Because obviously I went all into prism shielding and nothing else. Are th how are these people not fucking dead? Maybe they're onto something. Maybe they've like actually chosen the right religion, you know? What's in here? Is this your sacred building? Obviously we're not going to rob them. I'm just curious what, why this building's in the middle. Anyway, yes, funnily enough, he isn't here. This mysterious man that we're looking for is in fact... Over in that direction. Did I really not ping the map marker? Oh, for God's sake. E Do I want to fast travel to the decrepit factory? Because last time we went there, it had about 50 gamma claws. I may regret this. We may be ripped to pieces. We're okay. We're all good. Don't panic, Mr. Valentine. The coast is clear. Oh, sorry. Silver, silver shroud. That's going to take a while, isn't it? That's really going to take a, a while to... Eject from Planty's brain. Call me the Atomizer. That's probably already a thing, isn't it? Oh, I think that's the name of the gun from Fallout 3. Call me Dr. Doctor Radical. It's kind of growing on me. Somebody said it's Dr. Not Mr. Because he worked for that PhD. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good point. He absolutely did. What's going on there? Ah, uh, appears to be a break in the space-time continuum, possibly from the atomic decay. What a dump. I suppose we're probably not supposed to come up here. Is that a dead death claw? Oh. No, it's an alive death claw. That's why it's glowing, you idiots. Now it's a dead death claw. This gun is the work of an insane person. I mean, Planty much basically built it. It was just a little tacky golden gun when we found it. <gasps> just got It's the golden gun. That's why it kills stuff so quickly. Ah, I get it. Sorry, I can't turn the voice up in-game anymore because none of the voices are normalized, so some voice actors are like, Hello, I'm a dead person in Fallout. And then, I don't need the dog to inspect the chimes, thank you. Uh, and then others are like, Hello, how are you doing? How are you here about Virgil? I presume they are... Enemies. Oh boy, I hope they were enemies. I hope I didn't just blow up some guy's turrets. Oh. Ah. Uh, 
sorry about your um your your turrets. Hello. Hold it. Take it nice and slow. No sudden moves. I know you're from the institute. So where's Kellogg? Huh? Trying to sneak up on me while you distract me? An intelligent super mutant. Going to work. I'm not stupid. I should have bought the big strong man. Me. That would have been an interesting conversation. Uh, uh, Kellogg's dead. Dead. He's dead. Don't you lie to me. Uh, I'm not lying. I killed him myself. Did you? Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work. I feel like this so visor is kind of ruining. I knew they'd send him after me. The impact a bit. I tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you. You killed I, I feel like it's really, really killing the mood. With me. <laughs> Why is he wearing broken glasses? <laughs> um. Yeah, I think we might take that off when we get back. Uh, I knew you were a part of it and escaped. They sent Kellogg to kill you. How the hell? No, it doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me. Why are you even here? What do you want? Uh, I just need to know how to get in there. Wait, what? Are you serious? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? Uh, guacamole. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to find my son. Uh, the Institute kidnapped him. Oh. Oh, no. I had no idea. I'm sorry. He knows. Yeah. The Institute has taken people from the Commonwealth in the past. If your son is one of them, I can understand why you'd want to get in there. I can help, but I'm going to need something in return. A new pair of glasses. Uh, uh, you help me and I will help you. That is justice. All right. If I help you, you're going to do something for me. Before I was forced to leave, I was working on a serum to reverse this mutation. It could return me to normal. You understand? So if you get in there, I need you to find it in my old office and bring it to me. I think that's pretty reasonable in exchange for helping you. Absolutely it right? is. Right? Let's talk It would details. also be the kind thing to first do. First things first. You know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Uh, they, they use a, a teleporter. Well, well. Not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. No, no, the I can explain. Oh. is the only way in and out. Plenty much understands it. He's been working on something like that in his spare time. The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. No. Have you ever seen an Institute Courser? I think we saw one yesterday, but I might be wrong. Uh, Courser, what's that? Uh, like at the, uh, the radio antenna, right? Another Institute secret. Coursers are Institute synths designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing. And a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do. And you're going to have to kill one. Uh, uh why do I have to kill one? Because you want to get into the Institute. Really surprised Nick hasn't Remember, said anything. They're your ticket in. Every courser has special hardware Especially given that, that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. I'm kind of surprised Which this guy hasn't commented on Nick either. Their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now, I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You are going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. 
Uh, okay, let's get to work. Right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. Really? No, we got a different way in now, though, haven't we? some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that pimp boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune into the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Well, then, you just have to... I forgot how... ...not get killed. Expedi Underline. Exposition dumpy the this was. The aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for. And there we are. The glowing sea completed. We never have to come back here. Because my god. It's a dump. He's got a picture of kitties. That's nice. He's, he's, a, he's a kind man, really, when you think about it. What have we got here, then, that we can steal? Uh, oh, Tesla Science 3. Hello. He doesn't mind us taking that. That's nice. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Bye, Virgil. Uh, what the hell aroma is that? Are they not going to talk at all? Good luck finding a course. I, I find that really, really bizarre. Protect and serve. You turn up with an Institute synth at the door of a guy who worked for the Institute, and they don't even exchange a glance. Sucking down a lot of rad sticking around here. It's genuinely quite strange, isn't it? It almost makes you think maybe Nick was like out of range for the conversation or something. That's how unlikely I think that would be to occur. Really weird. Okay, well, because we get the hell out of here then. Now, you know what I want to do before we start down all this nonsense? Uh, before we start messing around here, I think first we're going to drop off the power armor. I said we're not going to be like a permanent power armor boy or anything like that. Uh, he, he's going to take it as and when is needed. And that was very much very needed. If we got like a big combat section coming up or something like that, like fighting the Corsa, obviously you're getting the power armor. Even the odds a little bit. But for now, we've got a different task. Uh, oh, thought that might happen. Kidnapping at Starlight Inn. Oh, failed. Oh, shit. Okay. So what happened was, when I loaded in, a lady came up to the Silver Shroud and asked about some kidnapping that occurred. And I said, yeah, we'll help. Uh, and that was when I was making the thumbnail. And then I closed the game and forgot all about it. <laughs> She's probably going to be pissed. Uh, you need something, monsieur. Hello. No, thank you. So, Curie's still here. Is he Piper anywhere? Oh. Curie's, Curie's still here. That's interesting. Obviously, the big strong man's still here. Heard him chuntering about stuff. Weird. I think I feel like Piper would be the most obvious one, given that she's wearing an enormous top hat, but never mind. But yeah, let's, uh, let's dump this in. I don't know what you're thinking. Are you seriously going to go out there in a lab coat? No. We are going to get Planty Mush some day-to-day -day scientific armor. Now, what we've got is a, a whole bunch of shit in here, right? Institute expeditionary stuff, right? We've got, um, oh, this is what I was looking for. Um, we've got whatever the hell this is. Strigade suit, which looks cool. And apparently we can just craft it right now. Um, I wonder if we've got some, like, other stuff. We need a good outfit for him, though. A little bit sciencey. Oh, there's nano armor, apparently. I don't want a chest piece. I don't want a helmet. What do you think that does? We could always craft some of that. We can upgrade our vault suit. The final one requires Maxon's battle coat, so I don't think we'll be doing that in a hurry. There's also this stuff. Serious armor. Um, It's certainly got a look to it, hasn't it? Oh, man, that's kind of sick, though. Don't really want the twin blades. That doesn't suit him. Okay, that, that stuff looks fucking horrible. Um, But we could certainly do something there. That stuff looks like it could work quite well for Planty Mush. And it looks like it's got great support. So, um, I, I think that might be the right way to go about it. Okay. Uh, Kellogg's gloves. Kellogg's powered arm. Left. And right. Power arms. See, this is the thing. There might be a load of... We, we might be able to mix up, like, a lot of this stuff going on here. Oh. Ah, right. That's, of course, the guy that we've got. Liberty grenade. That's just a nuke. Oh, you throw it like Liberty Prime. Gotcha. Okay. Um, mini nuke grenade. No, thank you. Damn. There's so much junk in here. This is what I'm saying. Maybe we should we should have an experiment around with some of this and see what we can craft. So, uh, what we're gonna do, that kind of main go-to now, is uh, 
Road to Freedom. Follow the Freedom Trail and search for the railroad. That's what we're going to be doing here. I, I don't know what any of these are. Maybe we'll check out some of these other weird quests tomorrow. Oh, you know what we've got to do? We've got to go back to the Mechanist Lair and get the iBot schematic. I've never, you're never going to let that go if I don't do it. I, I'm well aware. So, let's get Nick out of his power armor too. Do something for Silver you? Shroud, I need you to leave your power armor. Uh, any chance you got a second now? Oh, uh, okay, Silver Shroud, what's up? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing, but, uh, well, I know I can trust you at this point. For as long as I can remember, I've been getting these, uh, flashes. Memories of places I've never been. Things I've never seen. Memories of Nick's. They're not bad. They're just, um, they're just this inescapable reminder that I'm not the person I think I am. That I'm not a person at all. I'm just a machine. Oh. Pretending to be human. Ah. Uh, you think, you feel, you're more than just pretending, Nick. Yeah, nice of you to say, but your kind don't usually have to deal with someone else's whole life trapped inside their skulls. Is this is a commanding quest. I know I'm in Nick's debt. These memories, they've, they've kept me alive. Nick was a hell of a cop. A guy with good instincts and a good heart. I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con or whatever type might volunteer to let folks tinker with their gray matter. But it's thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City and every other synth is shot on sight. I know I got it good, but my entire life Ooh. I owe to Nick. Everything that makes me who I am, my judgment, my speech, Hell, even my name. They're his. And I can't do a damn thing about it, because without them, without them, I'm nothing. A shell. All I want is a life where I have something I can call my own. Uh... Is there any way we could separate you and Nick? See, I thought the quest might be either trying to integrate them, separate them, or maybe we're going to find out who this Nick guy is. You've already built quite a life for yourself, Nick. You've got the agency, a home, and friends. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You know, I, I'm just going to need some time to think on this. I appreciate you hearing me out. You're, you're a real good friend. Oh. Thanks. That's nice. I like that. I wonder if there is a quest that you, that you explore. So you I know, thought it would be like a trip to the memory den or something. There is a chunk of Nick Valentine history oh. I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. Oh, uh, sure thing. What's the... Look at the dog. The dog's ready. What's the case? Well, this one's straight out of the art. And now all of a sudden he's really quiet. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime. Eddie Winter. He was a bad man. Who did a lot of bad things, hurt a lot of innocent people, but he knew the end was coming, so he sealed himself inside a personal shelter, located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. Ah, uh, Eddie Winter was from my time, a real scumbag. The story Another villain. Gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death, live forever, so he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world sound familiar only eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana no cryo sleep for him no he invested his money in some sick crazy radiation experiment oh yeah you've really done your homework on this guy i have i uncovered a doozy eddie winter went and turned himself into a ghoul 200 years before it was fashionable Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Safe and sound. Oh, this is cool. Ready to come out of his evil reign all over. Big again. fan. I'm gonna find him and kill him. So that never happens. That's silver shroud behavior. Uh Alright, Nick. Let's get this bad guy. You're a good man. Now, I know where Winter's vault is. The is there something more to it, though? Is there a complex numerical code? Some sort of repressed memory. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes, incriminating different criminal associates. 
On each one, he hit a single number. We find all of those holotapes, we get all the numbers. We get all the numbers, we get the code. And then we get winter. And then I've been you get the power. A on this one for a while now. Then you get the women. There's a pair of holotapes in here worth listening to, uh, including one of winters. I managed to snatch from the Cambridge Police Evidence Lockup before getting swarmed by ferals. My gut tells me the Boston ferals? Police Evidence Terminals are the key to cracking this one. It's probably worth paying a visit to any of the departments you might have stumbled across. Oh. You know, because uh, the item will have spawned him for the quest, I understand. What's the plan? Uh, can you... How are we doing on the hunt for Eddie's tape? Uh, can you get out your power armor? I'm uh, still searching for them. Uh, just let me know when you manage to get your hands on them. Can you get out your power armor, uh, Juan. Nick? Anything I can help with? Yeah, I need you to get out your sure fucking thing. power armor, Nick. Good lord, that took a long time. Well, well that was impressive bit of parkour. He's parked it in the air. Wow, that's cooler science than plants he's ever done. Okay, well, let's do a quest then, and we'll mess around with armor tomorrow. Otherwise, well, are we're are we not going to die if we go out there without armor. Um, yeah, probably. <laughs> Maybe we'll go get ourselves a touch of adhesive, anybody? Hmm? Um, let's get some of those NPCs. Where are they all? In my pocket. No, they're not. I was going to say, how the fucking hell has that happened? Uh, here. Yeah. Over incumbent. Anything Nick. Yeah, hold some of these, please. A shitload of running back and forth. I've gone to Covenant and Sanctuary to trade with the Vault Set rep and, and Bunker Hill and Diamond City and everywhere looking for adhesive. I found 51, that's about it. I sold a shitload of those NPCs to be able to actually afford the cost. Let's make him some bloody armor for Christ's sake. So we can make some Corsa gear, which is kind of cool and a bit of a flex, but I don't think that's. Um, it's very appropriate for the stage of the game that we're at, right? Let's have a look at... Uh, what's that armor? Let's look at the serious armor. I might just make some of these. What does that mean? HH. I have no idea what that means. I have no idea what the difference is. I'm just going to make the normal type and hope that... Hope that it's, a, it's appropriate. Let's just have a look at it and see what it looks like. It looks like some scientific outfit that I think I could get behind. Oh, you know what? Oh my god, he looks so, so stupid. This is exactly the type of thing that a person like Planty Mush would look at and think, wow, that looks awesome. And that's exactly why he designed it that way. I think it looks terrible. I I, not, I don't think it looks terrible. Obviously, it's a very well-made, modded piece of equipment. I think it just looks very tacky, and it's not something that I would personally um, wear. <laughs> <laughs> helmet, helmet closed. Let's get the helmet open. I want to be able to see his beautiful face. Um, there's also that Aurora armor, but like, does it have like significant... Oh my god, it's got like much better stats. Ah, oh, shit. We'll make it. Maybe I'll hate it. Maybe I'll hate it, but we'll see what it looks like. There's also this sun flare. Oh my god, that's even better still. Oh god, I've just wasted so much adhesive. If only I could read. Okay. Um, gloves, helmet, power chip. I guess we'll take that. Gone is what it does. And then those, I assume, are a melee weapon. Yeah, they are a melee weapon. Gotcha. Okay. I mean, maybe I'll just prefer the look of the black armor. Who knows? Let's have a look, then. For God's sake. <laughs> um, I can't see what's happening because of the glare. Sun flare. Whoa, that is quite good, isn't it? Sun flare and sun flare and power chip. I don't know what the power chip does. Um... I hope I can paint it. Let's just put it that way, because that is too tacky. That's, that's too tacky, I'm afraid. Oh my god, there's no we can't we can't paint it. We just we can't paint it, I'm afraid. Nah, I'm not I can't. I can't do it. It's so bright. Oh my god, and it's got that heads up display that lets you see stuff. I wonder if that's the power chip. That's kinda cool if that is the case. We're just gonna go with the regular looking stuff, because I feel like its defense is, is like pretty good. Um, the rest is, like, very, very tacky. We could break it down, or... I mean, that looks... That looks fucking sick. I'm... I'm into that. That's a planty mush look right there. I just hope we can turn off the, um... If I do that... hey, Oh. That's cool, because it means we can toggle it. I could put it on a... On, like, five or something like that and just quickly toggle it off. I also bought some, uh... Armors and shit while I was out there. Obviously, I sold it a lot. Can we break this down? Oh, God. That was a waste of, uh... Adhesive, wasn't it? Oh, God. Um, yeah, I, I, I bought 
from selling those, uh, like, loads of NPCs. I loaded up Nick and Plancy. Um, bought a load of legendary stuff, too, to break down for some more chips. Mm. Is this from something this serious gear? I don't know if anybody recognizes it. Um, we're going to be storing it for now, though. It's a real shame that the other stuff is so bright. It's very bright. Oh, my God. Honestly, it looks like something out of potentially Mass Effect. There he is, Planty Mush. Through the power of science. And he's got his jetpack still. And actually, speaking of the jetpack, what did we need to turn it into a full-on proper jetpack? Because this is, like, like, we are all in science here, baby. Oh, we've just got it. We've just got it. Jetpack advanced. Boom, there it is. Oh, my God. Oh, he's going to look ridiculous. I, I need to take off the chrome paint because it looks way too obnoxious. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, hold on. And this just works like a regular jetpack now, huh? <laughs> oh my god. And imagine when he's... Imagine when he's sneaking around and all you can see are those just little red dots. One on his eye, one on his arms. He's like, it's an aesthetic. It is an aesthetic that I, that I think I'm a fan of, actually. I mean, I like it for Planty Mush. Again, personally, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, let's upgrade this Gorse Rifle because I'm probably going to roll with this because I actually really like the way it plays. Cold fusion coil. What do we need for that? We're lacking mini new chemisphere core. Right, of course. Cold fusion core is 10,000 shots. That's really nice to hear. Um, Assaultron circuit boards. Vanadate accelerator coils. This is all stuff that we've got to uh, uh, like like make later on, huh? Let's just make the best that we can make for the timing. Forget about that. Um, I'll be honest. I'm just going to put like um, a reflex sight on it. I'm not really fussed about the sights in this. Compensator. We're, we're totally out of adhesive again. I hate this game. I hate you, Todd Howard. What we can put on it is some sort of legendary effect. I'm not going to put the legendary effect on. I want a suggestion for what good legendary effect you can get for the Gorse Rifle. My friends, this is an aesthetic and a half. Let's start on Nick's quest then. We've got a, we've got a fetch quest across most of... Uh, Find Eddie Winter's holotapes. Let's do it. Fetch quest across most of the Commonwealth, then, huh? Nahant Sheriff's Department. Let's get it the hell out there. I mean, look, we've built it with science. And I think I'm all right with it. We built it with science. What the fuck? Hello. And now it's time to put this science to good use for once, Planty Mush. Oh, I like this Gorse Rifle, though. Is that an enemy? Seems to be an enemy. Oh, I do like this, the way this Gorse Rifle plays. If I could hit anything with it, it would be a, a game changer. To be honest. Oh, see, even the scope on this is, like, really annoying to try and look through. How am I not hitting that? Thank you. What bloody say? Interesting. I wish the scope was slightly different. Okay, come on. We've got to, we've got to examine the goods, though. The helmet closes when you're in combat. Are you joking? That's actually awesome. And and if I if I put the gun away, it opens back up. Oh my god. This is a scientific marvel. I'm actually such a massive fan of that. Oh Jesus. Oh my god, he jumped so high. I can't remember we can do this because I'm absolutely gonna forget. This is awesome. What is this area over here? That's a cool looking place. Full of uh, raiders, I'll assume. That is definitely an enemy, isn't it? Let's have a target raider psycho. Okay, let's test the range on this railgun. Just out of curiosity. Not very far. Unless I missed. Oh! Actually, like, real good. And we got the sneak benefit there, too. I shouldn't be. We shouldn't be fucking around. Let's focus on Nick's mission, for God's sake. This is how things get out of hand. One minute you're doing a, a mission for Nick Valentine. Next thing you know, you're halfway across the glowing sea, spending two hours collecting multiple different sets of power armor. It's a slippery slope. Nahant? Nahant? Sheriff Evidence Terminal. Uh, what are we looking for here? Winter holotapes. There it is. Holotape 05 in evidence lockup. Cabin cabinet KD8. Um, holotape 6 on loan to Officer Graham in East Boston PD. A mystery quest. To solidify Nick as the Silver Shroud is real nice. What are they shooting at? Do they need a hand? Looks like robots. Ooh, okay. 
See, that was almost a... Uh, that was almost a terrible situation then. Got to, got to keep an eye on those action points. The fact that we can jump so high as well is, is insane. And now we're dead. Uh, <laughs> I hate the explosions in this game. Every bloody time we die, it is from those fucking explosions. Ah, oh. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. I'm angry. I'm livid. I'm livid. It's every time, and it's just so fucking sudden. And now we're all the way back here. You are a motherfucker. Quick save like crazy. Just quick save like crazy. Just always quick save. M quick. Oh, the, the best thing to do is actually rebind. Uh, shoot to quick save. There's no enemies here this time. Bizarre. This is kind of what happened with the um, Pikmin's calling card. What the fuck do you mean Pikmin's calling card? We, we killed Pikmin. What? Is this like a follow-up quest? Pikmin's calling card? Or is this like an imitation killer? I have no idea where that would be. There it is. Pikmin was here. Find me if you dare. We killed him, though. I, we killed him. I, I'm going to assume... That's just a random encounter that can spawn in. Right? I, I mean, that's got to be the case because we have killed them unless there is a follow-up quest, at which point that's a really cool way to do it. But I've given them a lot of credit in this game and every single time I've been totally betrayed. So I'm going to be a bit more conservative with my, well, Bethesda, that's really cool comments going forward. <laughs> right, where are we heading to? Um, ooh, here we go. South Boston Police Department. That was actually the... Was that not the one we got the... Terminal message about? Was that West Boston? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We've got to go everywhere. I've got to get used to this build as well. Gorse rifle. High flying. All round. Dangerous man. Planty mush. The, 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 Dr. Radical. If we're going with that. And again, I'm not sold on it. We need to take some sort of vote down in the comments. I'm not sold on it yet. It's going to be important, of course, because maybe you could come to Rimrim one day. You know, I can probably make... So we might need to do something with that. Right. Terminal talk for you, uh, you ask no, thank you, Mr. Valentine. I, uh, Silver Shroud, I've got this one covered. Uh, right, Winter Holotapes we are. Number three, I'll loan to Quincy Police, Officer Hart. Requisition by Deputy Gold. So we've got that one. Checked out by Officer Door South... Boston PD. Well, that's where we are now, or at least you think we were. What door did we just open? I'm going to assume it wasn't the one to this bathroom here. So, this is Silver Shroud right there. Is that supposed to be the Silver Shroud? Don't know. Just looks like it could be a generic, any sort of generic mob boss. Taking that bowler hat. Thank you. Triggerman? Why do I recognize that? The Triggerman. Oh! Okay, the damage from the Gorse Rifle, unless fully charged, isn't supremely good by the looks of it. We've got like a... Uh, you got an interrogation room there? Oh. Playing hide and seek. Filled with rad roaches. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, the, the actual damage... Oh, how do I stop a shot if I've started charging it? Well, bollocks, never mind, I suppose. Right, let's have a look around then, shall we? See what we've got. There's the tape we're after. Just seeing if there's anything else. Oh, Triggerman. I recognize that, and I'm not sure what it's from. Oh, is that not Fallout New Vegas? The Triggerman. Hmm. I don't know. I don't remember. Are they not the ones outside the, uh, the front of Top's Casino? Maybe I'm misremembering. I don't know why they've been... This is the wrong coast. Well, not that Vegas is on a coast, but it's the wrong side of the country. I'm not sure why... They'd be here. They're not just enemies in this game, and I'm losing my mind, am I? No. We also, it, I mean, it was a bowler hat, so I might be on the on the right lines there. Okay, next one, please, Nick. I do love a good fetch quest, and I'm so glad that there's 90% of this game. Oh, we haven't found East Boston School. Uh, sorry, police station. Uh, there was the mechanist lair. Sorry, that threw me off then for a second, because we need to go get that iBot schematic. I haven't forgotten. I'm just not doing it, which is ignorance rather than... Sorry, malice rather than ignorance. What's the opposite of Hanlon's Razor? I think it's called... 
<laughs> being a dick. <laughs> oh, here we are. A oh, lovely place. Okay. Um, I need to find out how to cancel a shot. Oh, that is. It was right there. That was convenient. Holotape to draw your eye. You got to admit they are very good about their environmental design, Bethesda. How do I cancel a shot if I've started? Of my inventory. Oh, that does it. Okay. That's not really convenient, though, is it? Right. Let's have a look, then. Uh, winter holotapes. Uh, check that to Officer Graham. He's Boston, South Boston. I think we've got both of those, then, haven't we? That's a crop. Hello? Crop vandalism log. What, crop voosh? Miss crop. Oh, okay. I understand. See, they're referencing me now. I appreciate that, Todd. Thank you. I appreciate the shout-out. Right. Where are we going? Um, the Molden Sensor. Okay. I probably should be reading all the other quests on these uh on these tunnels all the little immersive world stuff but i feel like we're already tremendously behind schedule today lots of tinkering up benches and not much oh dear not much action oh it's since kapow it seems really good in vats relatively because you haven't got to charge it it seems like it does a fully charged shot huh we'll be taking that yes we will nick yes we will <laughs> we'll be taking that. Thank you. Thank, uh, thank you, Silver Shroud. Uh, sweet roll. How are they still edible? It really makes you think. All the preservatives, I can only assume. Is there an in-game... There's got to be an in-game explanation for that, right? Memes aside. Because otherwise, that's tremendously immersion-breaking. Because the rest of this game makes so much sense. But that, that's just really throwing me off. Thought they'd... Ah! Oh! I thought they did better attention to detail than that. Look over here, fucking thing. Hey, there we are. Into holotape number two. That weird mandatory fetch quest to throw in, huh? Um, we can check this. Bit unnecessary. Sergeant Schultz back in the Malden PD and Deputy Gold in... Why spread it all across the Commonwealth, too? So, like, different cases? I suppose if it's a mob boss, then, then yeah. I suppose it would make sense that they're all spread around, like, different departments coordinating. But one all the way down in the Quincy ruins. We've already found the police station. Actually, this is where the uh, the gunners were set up, right? I think the triggerman were from New Vegas. The more I think about it, I can't think of what else they'd be called. Ah, oh, shit! Sounds like the gunners might be back. <laughs> An incredibly balanced weapon. <laughs> I didn't even have fucking time to think. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Is it gonna... Okay, it doesn't save on fast travel. Probably for the best, actually. Um, let's try that again. I'm not gonna quick save either, because if we quick save and end up in a bloody loop, we're gonna be kicking ourselves. Okay. The problem is, during this loading screen, all the enemies are spawning and their AI is gonna be activating. So the second we get in, we dive behind the closest... Ah, just press, press the buttons preemptively. Oh, fuck. What the? Okay, we're good. Nick, that's Nick. <laughs> Almost just lit him up. Fire. Great shot. Okay, careful. Amazing. Nick, finish him off. Bleed effect. Oh, no, he's good. He's good. He's good. We're good. Fucking hell. What's a load of shit that they're just like immediately on us like that though, huh? Should have gone for the head. I do like the gorse rifle in that. I mean, I like it anyway. But it gives me more incentive to use vats as well because, like, it instantly charges. Oh, yeah, try it. Oh, it's just good. I do feel very Mass Effect-y. It does look very Mass Effect-y. You've reached level 45. I'm going to quick save before we get... Oh, we had a Ripper. Oh, I didn't even realize they were in the game. That's cool. I think that was... Died in slow motion. I think that was Nick's bleed damage that got that one. It's because they've all got these OP as fuck weapons again. Right, anyone else we need to watch out for? There's apparently someone below us. I'm on it, Mr. Valentine. Plenty away. Oh, it's a turret. Fucking hell. What a waste. That was a hit. That was a hit. These are hitting, aren't they? Are you fucking joking? What the hell? It's, it's showing the... Look, it's showing the you've hit animation. It's just not doing anything about it. Is that a gunner corporal? Oh, yeah, look at that. This gun is so accurate at long range. My 
God. I might be... I might be a gorse rifle boy. I might have been convinced. I might be converted. These big jumps are so silly. <laughs> okay. Right. We somehow survived that mess of an encounter. Let's go have a look at what we're actually here for now. Right. Police terminal. Um, Baker, goddamn Clint, play tape. Guess that's not it. Got to go actually into the lockup. There you go. I missed this when we were here the first time. Okay. There's no one here. That's a feral ghoul going to crawl out the wall. Cigar box. And a uh, remote door control open. Sure, why not? What else we got then? Eddie Winter's hollow tapes. There we go. I was heart pinsy. Quincy PD. Oh, so you need these to get your map updated? Oh, it probably just puts the untraveled police department on the map, right? I'll assume that's the case. Lovely overdue book there, I think. And there it is. I've already got very good, um... I've already got very good control over these, have they? Jesus. No, like, check-in, check-out system. No, I just stick it on a locker. To be fair, the apocalypse happened, so I won't blame him too much for their lack of organization. That seems very, um, it seems very nitpicky. We need to coin whatever the opposite of Hanlon's razor is. I'm sure someone's already done that. Planty's, um, the, uh, uh, Planty's ped pedanticness? Ped ped pedancy? Is pedancy a word? I mean, Planty's razor is fine. I understand that the razor is the, the actual concept. Right. These people have respawned again in the bad Tuffle regional offices. I feel like we've been here about four times now. Is this still happening? We've been here, though. Right? Maybe we haven't. Maybe I'm going mad. I really need to find out how you stop firing. Maybe try reload. I bet that does it. Door open. I presume this was chained, and because we've been here before, it's sufficiently unchained. Bad shot. Good lord. I don't know if this is in inaccurate, or it's me being inaccurate, or whether it's inaccurate by design, you know? I feel like I'm missing a lot more with this than I normally would. I feel like the shot's not lining up to... Not lining up to where the crosshair is. Okay, I'm not going to take a shot there. I'll probably end up blowing the Blowing poor sweet silver shrouds. Head clean off. Launch his hat across the room. That turret's having the time of his life over there, isn't it? Right. We've been in here. Why is this all locked up again? That's so odd. Have we... I'm being gaslit. We've definitely been here. I recognize the layout. I feel like I'm going mad. I don't remember what quest it was for. That's the only problem. Right. Um, don't know where that turret is, but it's... it's it's creepy, so I'm going to kill it. Yeah, I remember getting the loot from this room. Or maybe I don't. What the hell? What the hell? What's happening? Did I dream it? Because <laughs> there was a load of, like, up in... Yeah, it's all the confiscated stuff. No, what's going on? Did I maybe do an episode and then... A hell of a weekend with all this. Anything I can lug for you? I wonder if I start an episode and then and then had to stop it for whatever reason and then didn't come back here when I re-recorded it. I don't know. I feel like I feel like I'm going mad. I feel like I've been gaslit. Right, here you go. Take some of this shit, please. I'm starting to lose my voice now. I've been away too long. Here, take this. Uh take this ripper. Use it if you like. It's up to you. You are the silver shroud now, my friend. This is this is your responsibility to do what you like with, and that's the How can we unlock how can we unlock that door? Oh, because we've got high lock ping. I was going to say, surely we have the key. But no, we, we, we don't. We're fine. Odd. Very odd. Very odd. But I know the layout of this place. And I sh certainly wouldn't remember it from the last time I played Fallout. Oh, what? Mr. Valentine. I think I'm... Open fire. I think I'm losing my mind. Because there's a safe on the floor next to this desk. I remember it. Boom, right there. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> 
<laughs> Evidence lock and key. Well, there we go. Okay, I'll tap the terminal. I presume this is the one that tells about the... Oh, no, guess not. Okay, never mind. I wonder if it's that one right there. That'd be crazy, wouldn't it? Right. Baftal Evidence Terminal. Uh, we are looking for... Macmillan bootlegging? Eddie Macmillan? There we are. Ceramic containers, moonshine, turn over the biohazard division. That's it. Yeah, we've read this before. I wonder if I've already picked up the tape from here then. Oh, shit. Hold on. Winter holotape log. So there we are. Sorry, I'm clicking the wrong one. Winter informant log. Ah, oh, so this is like a... We don't need to find something in here because that may take a while. Nick, you're the one that sent us here, my friend. What do you mean we don't have to find something here? Or tell me you don't have to find something here. You, you, you want us to find something here, big man. Well, we're done. I guess we'll just get out. Obviously, we've already already done this once before. Despite the game gaslighting me to think otherwise. Bit of sweet rolls. Mmm, rancid sweet rolls. Maybe they just give you rads and that's it. Other than that, they're perfectly preserved. Delicious. Can't be thinking about sweet rolls, okay? I'm on a diet. Well, like an actual real diet as well. It's a hard diet. It's going really well, but like... I can't be thinking about sweet rolls. I've had to block so many channels on YouTube so I don't see food recommendation. Binging with Babish comes up. You'll block it. I'm sorry. I like your content, but I can't be doing that to myself. Jesus. Look at what? What is that over there? Raiders? Be careful, Silver Shroud. Raider scum. Stop right there, Raider scum. The it is I, Dr. Radical. Ah, oh, shit. Wasn't very radical, was it? <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh, well, that's the silver shroud we know and love. This is why Planty's happy to take a backseat and do the more Nick Fury scientist role. Okay? He's the the Parker from Thunderbirds, even though I'm pretty sure that wasn't Parker's job. Penelope from Thunderbirds. You kids remember Thunderbirds? I don't even fucking remember Thunderbirds, I so don't lie. Everybody just had the toys. Nobody uh, nobody's gonna watch that creepy puppet show. Horrible. <laughs> Probably just upset some people with that. That's my childhood. Um, Coast Guard Pier, sure. This is probably quicker to go from there. And then we'll fly over. Fly. Cliff Racer, fly. Yeah, we need. We definitely need to vote on his name. Because I need something to refer to him as. I'm running out of Planty Mush branded intros, you know? Um, right, this way. Oh, this was the Ghoul Land. I remember this. Let's go back to that. I like the Gorse Rifle. I just feel like it's a little... Inaccurate right now. Makes it quite hard to use. So this is the right place. Yeah, we're good. We also need to put some sort of maybe like a legendary effect or something similar that allows us to do something with action points, right? Oh, maybe a perk. Maybe we spend our perk points. I was saving it just in case we need to do any crafting, but I think we're probably done with crafting for a little while. Something to let us save action points in case I need to emergency jetpack as we're falling. So Planty doesn't break his neck. Hello, fellow Minuteman. Just check Hello, it in. Sir. There you go. Just check it in. See how she's getting on. Uh, goodbye. 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 I'll show you something cool. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I'm just going to leave. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Mr. Nick. Should have been Dr. Nick. We should have made Nick the doctor, because then we could have called him Dr. Nick. But it's too late now. I've ruined it. Oh, super mutants. Is that super mutant there? Look. Is that one there? No, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Otherwise, that would have been an incredible shot. Or they're all in the building. Oh, it was one. Look. It fucking was. Okay. Be careful, Silver Shroud. Right. You've got to admit, that's bloody lined up bang on, right? Didn't fucking hit. Am I aiming above the green dot or on the green dot? Why well, is dead? Whatever the fuck it was. That's a, that's a suicider. Take it out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Silver Shroud. You may have saved our lives. Mutant Hound. Careful. We've got our own Mutant Hound. The Unkillable Woofty. When do we get to do her companion quest? Okay, where are they? Okay, careful. Jesus, I think there's another another legendary super mutant somewhere. Oh, there you are. Legendary super mutant master. Oh, watch out, Silver <laughs> Trout. <laughs> Dog corpse goes flying past. <laughs> it's so bizarre. Oh. 
We gotta take that gun off of him. He's stealing all of Planty's heat. Kind of place I like to dawdle. Like stealing all of Planty's heat. Ah, oh, there you go. Final shot in the magazine deals twice as much damage. We've got ourselves a legendary. Nice. If we ever do any more crafting, it'll be probably. Like that. <laughs> that said, that said, it hit. It had the hit confirmation pop up. What the fuck's going on with it? I need to do some of that um click training on Steam. So I never play FPS. And when I do, it's in short bursts like this or Fallout New Vegas or whatever. Let's go back and playing Quake again. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna play Quake again. Ah, oh, there's what's well, number nine. Brilliant. We're almost done. Eight out of ten. Let's go down here, I suppose. Oh! <gasps> A copy of the astoundingly awesome tales. Not enough folks value keeping the old CPU sharp anymore. I like that he likes his hoarding comics. Ooh, can we get in there? Ooh, absolutely we can. Hold on. The only thing I don't like about this also loot mod is it does allow you to grab stuff through the wall, which always feels a little cheesy. Like with um Hancock's stash in that one mission for Bobby. Damn it, Bobby. <laughs> Give me that. Oh, there was an overdue book in there. And lots of adhesive. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you. Didn't really need that. Right, one more squad. Uh, what are we looking for? Winter hollow tape logs. There you go. One more squad. Ah, oh, two more. We'll get all the tapes collected today. I feel like there's been a lot of collection, collect collectathons recently. We'll uh, collect all the tapes today, and then I guess we'll go for our showdown tomorrow. Another long episode today. I'm sorry, but it's you know there's a lot of crafting. I like balancing it out with actual playing the game. I know that. We could build ourselves a friend with all the stuff in here. Kind of indivisible, right? <laughs> Sounds a friend. Okay. Do we take the long way around, or do we go across? In fact, we could take the short way around, which is quite literally just over here a little bit. We could probably even just jetpack. Should I try the jetpack? I'm worried there's an enormous kraken lying in the depths of this water. The jetpack does not work underwater. Uh... Oh, God, that is wet. Okay, well, you know what? We're basically across. Don't panic. Oh, Jesus. Okay, gotta learn how to control the jetpack. That's definitely on the list of, um... Definitely on the list of stuff to do. It seems very dangerous. When we're sprinting, we get a lot more height. But we get a lot of height anyway when we're not. So it's, um... A little bit dangerous. A little bit dangerous. It seems like Feral Ghoul Central. Seems like Ghoul Central? Ah. Uh, maybe something in here. Poke around in this old red rocket, see what we can find. Nothing, any, nothing of value. Nothing value. Ooh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I was gonna say, addicts. It's the real treasure of this wasteland. Not the friends we make along the way. Fuck that. Wonder glue. Oh, this is. This is cool. Natic banks. What is this? A settlement? Ah. Uh. Fucking oblivion music every time. Yeah, well, it was kind of appropriate in that situation, wasn't it? Jesus. <laughs> oh, alas, poor Yorick. I knew him. I knew him well. Right. God knows what we're looking for in here. Sorry, I know I know we're looking for the holotape. tape. Sorry, we're just looking around this church, see if there's anything. See if there's anything unique, because you know, we may never come back here. Sorry to keep making the point, but it's a very valid point. This way we get to jump off the top of the, uh, ooh. We get to jump off the top of the steeple. Oh, oh, there's a dead body up here. Cool. Hello there. Oh. We were too late, Silver Shroud. Oh, there are death claws absolutely all over the place. Okay, we'll keep our eyes peeled for more. Legendary glowing death claw. Nah. You're actually okay. We're fine. We're gonna keep our distance. This is the power of science. Which I think is quite literally a line from Star Trek Discovery. No, she says, this is the power of math, people. And it made my asshole turn inside out as a Star Trek fan. And then Spock said, math. I like math. And, uh... I really, really did test my patience. I kept watching it. The third season was somewhat redeemable. It actually felt like a Star Trek season. 
What the hell was that? Super mutant shooting at the death core. Oh. We've instigated a fight. Who are they? Ready survivalists. Oh, that's not super mutants at all. See, I hate the fact that that... Oh, no. I think I actually did hit them. I just think it did shit damage. Be careful. Planty. Planty. Planty, take the shot. Be gone. I'm saving the credits till last. So that we could... Uh, just in case we got that 5% miss. Why is it I can hit stuff when I don't need to hit it? <laughs> well, we've got off the beaten trail a bit, but hey, for a fusion core, I'll happily, happily say that. God, this armor set is kind of cool. The fact that we can... The armor set, the jetpack, everything works so well together. Hello. Oh, that's very nice. Nice looking gear, isn't it? What the fuck happened there, Planty? Tell me I did no damage. Be gone. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> it feels quite powerful in certain situations. I'm also hitting more hip firing. What's he doing? Raider veteran. Could have fooled me. Hitting more hip firing than I am fucking scoping the damn thing. Right. Justice has been dispensed. Remember, justice always comes first. I don't know why I took the stairs. You can fly. Oh, this person wearing power armor, we can actually look at properly for once. Right, let's focus on these last two tapes. Sorry, I'm very distracted. To be fair, we've been chased by a death claw, so it's, I think, it's somewhat understandable. Right, there's been some shit here. Missile, oh, get rid of that, get rid of that. Yeah, we're good. We must be doing pretty well if you're willing to leave that behind. We are, Silver Shroud. We're doing the best of everyone because we're dispensing uh, justice. I thought it was a person in the window. Oh, it was a person in the window. Crazy how that works. <laughs> Let's go and have a look upstairs. Just have a poke around, see what we can find. Ooh, a little little bourbon. Some junk. Probably lunchbox. I don't know what came out of the lunchbox? What is that? <gasps> a mug? Souvenir coffee cup. Well we gotta take that. For God's sake, what kind of person would we be if we didn't? What happened? Oh. I think I found the rest of their house. Oh god, this is oh, motion sickness inducing. Oh god. Double barrel shotgun in a barter, that's sad. Very funny. I like. I, I do like how much they comment on in this game. It's it's good. It's good. I get it. Right. Um. What the hell are we carrying too much of? You know. What? Let's just see if we can scrape by. Let's actually get on with the quest objective now. Apparently, there's more. Oh! Not that it's an option. Where the fuck did he come from? Good God. I mean, I also appreciate the fact they probably pre-programmed. Uh. Well, everything. That's how games work. Um, they, they obviously had Nick reply to specific locations you're obviously guaranteed to be traveling to. And if you're traveling with Nick, this is one of them. What was that noise? Probably not relevant. Don't worry about it. It's probably just an enormous, enormous death claw sneaking up on us. What is that? Oh, it's the Brotherhood. Oh, it's a bit too little too late there. Brotherhood Night Sergeant. Ooh. That rang Planty. Oh, God. I'm going to fall through the terrain there, Planty. Oh, I see what's happening. They're just going along setting off landmines. Bomb disposal squad. It's very generous of them. Okay. Right. Uh, winter hollow tape logs. I, I guess we probably don't have to do this if we've already got, you know, it all sorted and lined up and shit. We know where the last one is already, right? Should we go and have a chat with them? Hello, fellow Brotherhood. Oh, that brother. Poor Brotherhood aspirant. Put him on the front lines with no power armor. Hello, it's me. Plenty. Oh, no, they're, they're too busy. They're too busy fighting. Pretty sure we cleared this area out pretty well. Can we not claim credit for this? Put in a good word with Elder. Oh! Elder Maxon. Oh, God. Okay, we hit it. Thank God for that. <laughs> this is fucking... There's like a certain level in this game where everything turns. You go around the corner, there's a fucking death claw. Just, just very casually. Hello. Charging into a situation, guns blazing, is a good way to get yourself killed. Yeah, I'm a Wait, member of the Brotherhood. What was that? 
What was that? What was what? Let's not worry about it. Just kind of curious what they were going to say, that's all. Uh -huh. Found you. Right, you're on your own. Okay, last one. Sorry, let's not get too, mu too much distracted anymore. Uh, where is, where is the last one? Where am I looking here? Uh, which, which direction should I be looking at? That direction. East. Eastward, there is somewhere. Oh, right in the middle of... Right in the middle of Boston proper. Left till last. This has been a hell of a journey today. Jesus. Finally sorted all this stuff out with Mutant Fella. Doing a load of stuff. He deserves it. Again, we give him the planty... We give him the... <laughs> I call him planty shroud. We give him the silver shroud mantle. Obviously, we've got to hey. do something for him in exchange. Oh, my God. I was... Let's a... do this. I was about... You see the speed that feral ghoul was walking. I was about to blow that man to pieces. What are those feral ghouls doing? What the hell? They're after the dog? Fuck off. What's wrong with you? You leave the dog alone. Legendary rad rope. Oh, hilarious. Well, that's that sorted. So we got something down here. Uh, Grogging out the barbarian list. Okay. And this will be our actual final tape then. I get weird deja vu. I feel like we've been here as well, right? Weird. Obviously not, because we didn't have a map marker for it. Here it is. Uh, went to holotape log. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. And then 11 steps in this direction leads us to our holotape. Oh, that was a hell of a journey. That was an insane undertaking, but we've done it. Massive fetch quest. Let's go back to the drive-in. Put our feet up. And I await your feedback on the new r rad radic Radical Man. What the fuck was he called? It's not Radical Man. That's terrible. Radical Man's awful. Please don't call him that. Okay. Well, thank you for joining me. Again, a long journey. I do not intend every episode to be an hour plus in length. Absolutely quite the opposite. Today, I was like, well, I've got to go out tomorrow because I've got doctor's appointments. So I was like, okay, I'll do two half an hour episodes instead of one super long episode. And... Ah, look at how that's ended up. It's funny how these things go. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I'll do all the tidying up and stuff between episodes. We're back tomorrow to carry on with Nick's quest. I will start sticking to a slightly shorter episode length. <laughs>